Drivers across the state are getting hit hard with COVID. Some are even shutting down. WDRB's Valerie Chen details how the state of Kentucky is helping those centers. Closed, but cleaning continues as surfaces are wiped down. We've had to shut down three times total since the beginning of COVID. Here at the Maple Grove Baptist Child Care and Preschool in Okalona, Director Jenna Badgley says the most recent shutdown started last week. It affected three out of seven of my classrooms. And with how small we are, I didn't want to risk um, the few people that would be coming back to spread it and be responsible for it. Four staff members contracted COVID and three children. The daycare has 35 kids enrolled and shut down a week ago, but will reopen Monday. Uh, what's happened is in December, we had several, several facilities that had to close. Um, we had facilities that had to close specific classrooms. The state says about 84 child care centers reported at least one case of COVID with a child or staff member last month, and 22 daycares had to close for COVID cases in quarantine. What determines if a daycare needs to close or just close off a room? It's their own version of contact tracing. They need to just determine who's come in contact with a positive COVID patient. This month, the state says three daycares reported COVID cases, but will continue to operate with room closures, and two facilities reported a temporary center-wide closure due to COVID. Badgley says her facility is one of them. What can parents expect when they return on Monday? They can come expecting that my staff has been tested and they're you know, negative. We're all symptomatic free. The state has uh, provided support through funding, uh, quite a bit of additional federal funding that we've been able to provide to, to uh, uh, child care operators and make sure that they get uh, funding to be able to do that extra cleaning. The director says the daycare paid its staff during the closure and parents did not have to pay tuition. In Okalona, Valerie Chen, WDRB News. Some schools